Have you considered a reverse mortgage as you look towards retirement? Or maybe one of your loved ones is looking into it? Well, this could be a huge decision to really secure your financial future and make things a lot more comfortable in your retirement age. My name is Kevin Briarton, Certified Mortgage Planning Specialist with Neo Home Loans. And today I'm going to unravel the complexities of a reverse mortgage to ensure you can make an informed decision that aligns with your retirement goals. So what is a reverse mortgage exactly? Well, imagine a loan that pays you. For homeowners that are age 62 or older, a reverse mortgage flips a script on traditional loans. So instead of paying your lender every month, the lender actually pays you, tapping into your home's equity. And it's meant to supplement income, eliminate monthly payments and more, while still able to, you're still gonna have to handle your things like taxes and insurance, home upkeep, of course, and possibly HOA dues if the house has an HOA. So is a reverse mortgage right for you or a loved one? Well, qualifying for a reverse mortgage is not automatic here. So you have to have a few things. So first, number one, age 62 or older. That's probably the most important thing, but all you also have to be applying for your primary residence only. Now, undergoing HUD counseling and financial assessment is also required I believe this is a huge requirement, which is a really good thing. You will have to go through a little bit of um, counseling to make sure it's you, you know what you're getting into. And that's a third party, not through your lender. Your lender will help you with it, but it is through HUD. And you also need to be free of federal debt. This is huge. So if you have back federal debt, this program is not for you until you settle those needs. Meeting property standards. So you must meet property standards in the property to make sure it's gonna be up to the standards for HUD. Now that will be viewed through a reverse mortgage. So you're not gonna initially worry about that, but it will have to be a livable and, and meet the standards for HUD for this. So how it works, here's the mechanics of a reverse mortgage. A reverse mortgage provides funds based on your home's equity, and it's not a full access of your equity. So for example, with a $250,000 equity, so if you have $250,000, you'll receive a portion safeguarding some of the equity, and you can choose how you want to receive these funds, either in a lump sum, monthly payments, or a line of credit. And a lot of times you can use a hybrid of different, you know, these three different options. And then living with a reverse mortgage. So here's a, some key insight. With this loan, a traditional mortgage gets paid off first. So a traditional mortgage will get paid off first. So if you have a regular mortgage, you're going to pay that off. You're going to eliminate the monthly payments, get property taxes, home insurance, maintenance on the HOA and maintenance on the house will still have to be covered. And remember, the loan balance on a reverse mortgage will grow over time due to the interest. Now let's think about your heirs and your home. So upon your passing, your heirs will have options. Purchasing the home, selling it to cover the loan cost or letting the lender take it over. It's a decision that can be prepared for, ensuring there's no surprises down the road. Now reverse mortgage fees, so here's kind of what to expect in the fees. From counseling to mortgage insurance to servicing fees, a reverse mortgage involves several different fees. Now these fees can be paid out of pocket or in the loan the itself. So you wanna make sure you get a full breakdown from your lender that you're working with to make sure it's gonna be right for you and you understand all the costs included. The type of reverse mortgages, so whether it's FHA insured home equity conversion mortgage, uh, they call it HECM, or a single purpose reverse mortgage or a jumbo reverse mortgage, most common is the FHA insured HECM loan, you'll hear, hear that phrase. So each of them serve different purposes and have different rules with what's going on. Um, so what you want to do is weigh the pros and cons, like any financial product, reverse mortgages have their advantages, like staying in the home, protecting against declined values, or other options where your spouse is gone, you can have some other options based on who's in the house and how long you're going to be there for. Some real good advantages, yet there are some downsides, so such as decreasing equity and potential complications for errors. So. Keep in mind, a reverse mortgage isn't the only route. Refinancing or doing a cash out refinance could offer um, other solutions that may fit your goals. But if you're curious about a reverse mortgage or any other option that might be right for you in your retirement age, I'm here for you. We got your back. Uh, my name is Kevin Briarton, Certified Mortgage Planning Specialist and your no excuse lender. 
please reach out today. Let's explore all the different options you have to secure your retirement years and confidence. Thanks so much for joining me. Again, my name is Kevin Briarton, Certified Mortgage Planning Specialist with Neo Home Loans, committed to helping you guide you through a stable financial future. Thanks again for watching.